It was all about I got caught. And buddy, you sure did get caught, okay? And we got you, and we're gonna keep you locked up as long as we possibly, possibly can. can. That was the passionate response to a maximum sentence for a convicted sexual predator. His name is Dion Earl. A judge deciding Earl will spend 12 years in prison for sexually assaulting two women that he hired to babysit his daughters. But before hearing his fate, Earl asked the judge to let him go home without any prison time. Team 12's Ryan Cody is live tonight with the judge's response to what some see as an insensitive request. Yeah, the judge didn't waste much time clapping back at his request to go home without serving any more prison time. Dion Earl said his kids deserve to have their father back and that the two years he's already spent behind bars is enough. But the justice system disagrees. I believe in my heart, Your Honor. I truly do. No further time is necessary for punishment. The final plea from convicted sexual predator Dion Earl using his kids as an argument to avoid further jail time. Your Honor, my children have suffered enough, please. As well as I have suffered tremendously. The fact that your children haven't had you physically in their lives for the last two years is because of choices that you made, no one else. A jury convicting the 47-year-old for two separate sexual assaults of women he hired to babysit his daughters, forcing them into sexual encounters once inside his Mesa home. He's pathetic. Elizabeth Ward and O.D. Harris are one of the victim's parents. There was no sorry. There was no, you know, I'm apologetic for what I did. It was all about I got caught. And buddy, you sure did get caught, okay? And we got you, and we're gonna keep you locked up as long as we possibly, possibly can. can. 12 years with credit for the two he's already served. The max sentence, despite his tears. Please take a chance on me. I won't let you down, I promise. Of course, me being a parent, I would love to him to be spending life. But this sends a message to Arizona. You can't come here and a sexual assault, men or women. We have, we as Arizona need to put a, st a stop to sexual predators. You're not welcome in our schools, in our community, or in our streets. The judge also sentencing Earl to lifetime probation, and he will need to register as a sex offender when he is released from prison. We're in the Live Alert Center tonight. Ryan Cody, 12 News at 10. All right, Ryan, thank you.